Hello everyone, Ronaldo Fulieri here. I'm nutritionist and chef, and today I have a special guest, local legend and celebrity, Matt Rogers. Hey, Welcome. Ronaldo. Thanks for having me. I, um, I love food. Oh, well, I love eating it. Yep. I'm just not good at making it. So hopefully you can give me some tips on you know, how to make some fresh food, healthy food fast. That's the idea. We're gonna do actually a superfood guacamole. I know you are pretty into your healthy stuff, right? You're quite fit person, well, you're an athlete. You. So I'm gonna teach you how to do a superfood guacamole and integrate those superfoods, right, into the guacamole. So for example, the kids, if they don't like kale, which sometimes they don't like, right? Yeah. We're gonna use the kale and we're gonna put on a guacamole. We're gonna add some other, you know, twists and we're gonna make a very nice superfood guacamole. I call superfood guacamole, guys, because if you understand those foods have an amazing health benefits and that's what I'm gonna share with you. Well, mate, I've got my tea towel. I'm ready, you just, you just tell right. me what to do. So and first we're gonna, Scoop these avocados there. All right, I reckon you're I can gonna do it. This. I'm just gonna instruct you. All right. So, so, guys, for you at home, avocado is excellent source of good fats, great source of protein as well. Very easy to digest. The kids benefit a lot from avos, especially if they're growing. But what I like about a guacamole like that, you can use in anything on a toast in the morning. Put some eggs on top. You can have some. Um, avocado dips in the afternoon if you're a celery sticks, carrot sticks. It's just something you can always leave in the fridge for when you feel hungry, you can grab and go. How am I going here? Am I, am yeah, I, you're doing good. This right? That's it, you scoop it all there. All right. We're gonna use about six, uh, six quarters, sorry, halves. So it's about three to four avos, guys. That's gonna make about probably enough for the week. If oh, that right. lasts, right? If that uh, lasts. If, um, if it's good, it might last a night. Yeah, My exactly. <laughs> And, and the, you're telling me it's good, right? Yeah, it's, man, you, you watch. This, I've been doing that for many years. No one complained, apart from the spice. Sometimes it could be a quite, you know, well, I, do, I, I, I like a bit of spice. It's... So, yeah, that's the thing. If you don't like hot chili, guys, you don't need to use. So, saying about the hot chili, I'm going to add there. This is a peri-peri chili or the bird's eye. Did you know the bird's eye chili? It's called peri-peri because peri-peri in African means bird's eye. So, for us here, we call bird's eye. But in Africa, it's peri peri. Right. So the peri peri chicken is made from th that chili. That chili. Wow. Yeah. That's, I'm, I'm learning. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole point. So, yeah. next one we're going to use it's lime. Okay, right. so this is the lime squeeze that makes our life easier. Right. I know you're a strong man, you can squeeze anything you want, but man, we're going to make, you know. Oh, this is good. This work for us, you squeeze everything out of it. And then we're going to use lime and lemons. Guys, lime and lemons, very important for health. It's a natural antibacterial, it is an antiviral, it's very good for the digestive system, got heaps of good properties, okay? In naturopathy, which is what I study, this is what we call one of the best medicine of all. So you can use that first thing in the morning, you can use that as a salad dressing, you can put that on top of food. But what I like about this mat, I don't know if you, if you knew, if you use lime and lemons um, in food, it helps conserve. Have you done that experiment that oh, you cut oh, the yeah, apple okay. and you put lemon on the top of lime and it stops from going brown? Wow. Because yeah. that's an antioxidant. So an antioxidant means when you interact with the oxygen, it ages. So if you put the lemon juice on the top of the, the apple, it stops from aging. Imagine that in your food. So it's stopping the food from going brown. So that's why I'm adding a lot of lemon and lime because then that's guacamole it won't go brown within two or three days. It will last probably three to four days at home. That's you, brilliant. You watch and it. this is brilliant too. This juicing machine. <laughs> I I'm going to get one of these. Get one of these. <laughs> this make your life easier. So now we're going to put kale. Yep. Okay, handful of kale there. I'm going to try to squeeze that. And then this is parsley and uh, coriander. So the benefit of using parsley coriander, but first, Parsley is um, packed with iron. Right. And you're an athlete, man. You know iron is super important, right? It is. And most people think that iron um, only comes from animal foods. Right. So this is an example, like you can get so much iron from kale and parsley together. Okay. Okay, so that's gonna increase your red blood flow. Yep. It's gonna increase your oxygenation. But parsley has twice as much iron than red meat per 100 grams. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's the benefit. And what we want is to have iron for kids because that helps their development, okay? So next one, we're gonna use onions. So I'm gonna cut a little uh, piece of onion for you there. Why are we gonna use onions? For health benefits, but flavor, okay? Yeah. Um, in my culture in Brazil, we use a lot of garlic and onion, guys. That's part of our, you know, um, our cuisine. But it's not only an aromatic herb, we call it herb. It's very good for digestion, it's very good antibacterial, it's very nice. good antibacterial, and it, it, it tastes good, right? Yeah. So it's called aromatics. Now, 
one teaspoon of salt. Get a bit of that in there. Yep, actually put a little touch more, just for good luck. That's it. Yeah. All right, then we're gonna put a bit of um, water. I use water, guys, for one reason, because sometimes it gets too thick. I wanna be slightly runny, because that makes a lot um, nicer. Yep, and Turn let's blend it, it up. Let's shake it. And we're going. Yeah, let's go. Turn it up. Yeah, give it a little shake there. All right. That's it, this, done. This looks good. Let's try it. So, let's put that in little bowls. What I'm gonna do in this meantime, I'm gonna get some celery sticks. And I'm gonna cut little um, sticks for us. That's how I like serving at home. But if you're at home like carrots, go for it. I like celery. Very good for the bones. Very good source of calcium, guys. So you can always put celery in your diet to boost your bones, because if you understand celery, look at that. Look like a bone, right? So celery, when you break it, it has calcium in it. Very good for the bones. So that's why we're gonna use that for kids as a snack. Plus it's low calorie and it's quite nice. And that, you try. Oh, You'll I'd be my guest, man. All right. That's some good guacamole. Is it? That is beautiful. For real? That is amazing. Here you go. Super easy, right? Oh, right. It's a blender guacamole, guys, you can do at home in five minutes. Um, something that you can always leave in the fridge for the kids when they get from school. And like I said, it's, it, it lasts a few days in the fridge. So enjoy and have fun. <laughs>